r slash ask reddit. If you could call yourself 10 years ago and speak for 1 minute, what would you say? If you want to join my giveaway for $500, subscribe and you will be automatically entered. Take the kids and run. For the love of god get your driver's license. If you don't you're going to get hit by a car. Finish school. You asshole. Tell mom and grandma you love them. They won't be here in 10 years. Is your refrigerator running? Relax and enjoy. You're worthy of the experience. About 10 years ago. I got my job at Google and the worst part of the experience were my insecurities. I was a 49 year old, ancient by Google standards. Self-taught programmer. I got my non-programming degree from a backwoods school but. To make up for it. I got really. Really crappy grades. I had no big data experience and. At the time. I hadn't programmed in any of Google's four development languages. C++. Python. Java. And JavaScript. Add all this to my normal insecurities and I really felt like I was outclassed by everyone else at the company. I spent every day expecting to be fired for gross incompetence. That's no way to go through life. The experience would have been so much better if I just ignored my insecurities. I still would have been dumbest fucking programmer at Google but I would have. At least. Been much. Much happier. Invest in Apple and you aren't marrying that girl you're seeing right now. I would just breathe heavy into the phone in an attempt to creep myself out. Oh god, I would say. Don't be scared. Get an education and find a good job. Now I'm stuck in a miserable retail job. Buy bitcoin and sell at 19k. It's going to get a lot worse. But it will get better, in like 9 years. Stop cutting. Go to a therapist. Dump him, he is cheating on you and you damn well know it, and for fuck's sake seek help for your eating disorder. For the love of god. Don't stop drinking. It'll destroy you. Do not meet him. I repeat. Do not meet him. Start ignoring him now. Get a therapist. 8 year olds are not normally depressed. Spend time with your dad. He passes in 3 years. Get out of your shitty teenager attitude now. Buck up for a lot of medical issues. But you'll be okay. Avoid the abusive asshole in college. Never stop practicing. You are talented but you need to learn how to practice. Don't give up. Edit. I'm 25 right now. Would be 15 then. In 10 years time you will get the opportunity to call yourself at this time for 1 minute. You now have 10 years to prepare something good to say. Keep sticking your dick in crazy. It will all work out. Enjoy that hair while you still can. Dude you're hella gay. There. Saved you years wasted on denial. You're welcome. Don't be such a fucking bitch when you grow up. And start a YouTube channel. Never try opiates. Seriously. Buy high. Sell low. Wait. Fuck. Buy. Wait. How do I? Shit I should've rehearsed this better. Buy shit. Fuck. Buy some shit. Don't live your life according to what your mom wants you to do. Do what you want to do. You think you're clueless. Helpless. And hopeless now? Well do I have some news for you. Get divorced. Just do it. You'll be so much happier. Would've saved me 10 years. Still a virgin. Put some money in the bank and don't touch it. Stop shitting your money away on weed and psychedelics. People suck so mind your business invest and for the love of god quit fast food and get on a diet. There's a state in America named Nebraska. Unfortunate circumstances will lead our family to this place in 10 years. Do not be afraid. Everyone is okay. It's beautiful there and full of nice farmers like us. You will be homesick in beginning but you will begin to love this place. Do not be afraid. Do not cry. Everything will be okay. Note. I'm 22 so I would be talking to my 12 year old self. This is why I use simple conversation. Don't bury the money in the back garden and move house. That fog you're finally coming out of? Remember that feeling. Freedom. 
It hurts to feel a part of you is missing. But fully finding yourself is worth it. Put yourself first. Don't move to the coast, it ends horribly and you'll get stabbed. Put down the drugs. You'll regret it in 5 years. Go to the dentist. That shit is important. Go see your nanny. She dies in 2 years. And you'll miss her more than you realize. Don't drink at your mum's wedding. She still loves you. But hot damn you hurt her. Be nice to your sister. She's going through a lot too. She won't tell you. But she needs you. Most importantly, go back to school. Eliza. Get your education. You'll need it when you're a 21 year old single mum struggling to support yourself and a toddler. Leave Erin now. You'll never understand why. But I hate that I do. My son was 12 10 years ago. He died unexpectedly just 3 weeks ago. I would say look out for him even harder than you do now. God I miss him. Bro. You need to chill out. It gets worse. Don't marry him. I've been calling to reach you about your car's extended warranty. I'm 22 so I tell my 12 year old self to watch soccer and play soccer as much as you can. Get a fucking 4.0 in college. You don't have much time. Spend as much time as you possibly can with him because in 15 months, you're going to lose him. You are not going to believe this but next month you will get hired for a job that pays 70% more than your current one. In a year you will hate that job so much you will quit that job and move back to your hometown and start a new company. In 2 years you will meet this girl that will become your wife. In 5 years you will have got married. Move to your own house and have your first baby. In 7 years you will have your second baby. In 9 years you will have your third baby. Time to slow the fuck down, and that business you started will provide jobs to 10 people. In 10 years you will get addicted to Reddit. What is Reddit? You will see. You're gonna be a teen dad. Good luck. Hey me. This will sound crazy. But don't go into teaching. I know you like it. But after your first real job. That depression you've been aware of since you were 12. Will only get way worse. And will multiply the suicidal thoughts. You are going to love your co-workers. And adore your classes. But it is honestly not worth it. Oh and talk to the doctor about the getting locked up inside negative thought patterns and feeling almost like an alien in your own body. They can help with the eating disorder. Because eating like you do is an eating disorder. And the feeling almost detached thing? Yeah. Undiagnosed Asperger's. Getting diagnosed won't change much. It is only going to help you understand why you feel so alien. And it is going to help you accept that you don't have to be perfect. Try to get happy. Stay away from religious cults this won't end well. Wear a condom. Don't eat the apple pie at grandma's house. She forgot to rinse the pan so the whole pie will taste like soap. What's really good? Your friends will leave you. Your girlfriend will leave you. Your job doesn't matter. Don't waste your time and energy on people that will forget about you in 10 years. Do something for yourself. Do it because you want to do it. Not because you hope other people will like you for it. Live like you mean it. Forget the haters. It gets better. Will I I, I better? You will be fine. Your groove will come back and you'll start creating again. Don't start drinking heavily. Oh wait. Start drinking heavily. That's how it came back. Don't lean on alcohol. Brings more problems than it solves. Try convince 4 year old me that we need to buy a bitcoin. Stop being so damn shy. Start learning Japanese because you will develop a move to Japan by 35 or die there on holiday mindset. Also. Your patriotism for the UK will die around mid 2018. And by early 2019 you will hate it. You are a dumbass. Don't worry about men and don't date. Save 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 and you're doing well. I love you. Do not date Susan. She will ruin your life. Invest in Bitcoin you schmuck. Love and respect your parents. Dye your hair a sap. 
Treat the friends who love you with the same respect they give to you and most importantly the girl you seen at the bus stop three days in a row and you both looked in the eyes for many seconds straight and felt so connected is definitely a girl you should talk to even if you are scared. I regret not doing it. Can it be 10 years ago from a year and a half ago? I tell myself to stay away from my predator. I always wonder what if it hadn't happened and if I'd be more normal and not so fricked up. Stop drinking. Stop smoking weed. And cultivate friendships with people that don't revolve around using these substances together. You are definitely gay and that ain't changing. Those people who you think are friends are definitely not. It gets rough but know that I love you. Hang out more with your granddad and relax more at school. Check every day if something called Bitcoin exists. And once you find it buy as much of it as possible. And sell it in December 2017. Do not start drinking. I don't care how fun it seems or how much that breakup hurt. Don't. Fucking. Start. Drinking. Also. Remember your worth. For anyone curious. I'm doing better now. Coming up on 4 years sober in October and got back together with my high school sweetheart who finally gave me the support and courage I needed to get sober. We've been married for 2 years now and have a toddler. I just wish I wouldn't have wasted half my 20s at the bottom of a bottle. Don't trust anyone when you move to America lol. Nothing. Every mistake I've made has taken me where I am now. Goo goo ga ga. Two things. First, I'd tell him that it would work out. Give him the name of the company that will hire him in 8 months. Maybe he can get in earlier. Two, Bitcoin. Buy mine as much as you can. And sell at $15k. Tell your dad he has to go to the doctor to check his heart, it will save his life. Put all of your money in Bitcoin. Oh yeah Patriots win Super Bowl 49. 51. And 53. Put your life savings on each one. Like and subscribe if you want to.